Hello, what is up guys, it's Prob here. About 10 years ago, June 29, 2007, the first ever iPhone was released. We're gonna make some history together today. And to unlock the phone, I just take my finger and slide it across. Since then, it has revolutionized the smartphone market and has evolved itself to a point that here we have the iPhone X. Launched by Apple today alongside the iPhone 8 and iPhone 8 Plus, in this video we're going to take a look at what are some of the new features coming to the iPhone this year and should you be considering to spend your money on this expensive device like the iPhone X which has a starting price point of 999 US dollars for the 64 gigabyte variant. So without any further ado, let's get started. There's no doubt that the star of the show at this year's Apple event was the all-new iPhone X. The first thing you will notice here is that beautiful 5.8 inch display with rounded corners. Under the hood, it's packing what Apple claims their brand new Super Retina HD display, which is basically an OLED high dynamic range panel with a pixel density of 458 pixels per inch. It still has the true tone colors from last year and Apple's very own 3D touch technology. Aside from that, the iPhone X comes with Apple's A11 Bionic chip, which comes embedded with the M11 Motion coprocessor. The interesting thing here is that this comes with a new artificial intelligence chip, which Apple claims their neural engine. This basically allows the phone to perform quick facial recognitions, which leads me to the next big thing, which is the replacement of Touch ID with its successor, Face ID which is basically a facial recognition system which is more faster and secure than its predecessor. On the back of the phone, there is a vertically oriented dual lens camera module, which still does have that camera bump, but the upgrade here is that on the telephoto lens, you get an aperture of f2.4 and both the lenses are optically stabilized, which will result in smooth handheld videos and better low light photos. A new interesting software feature includes portrait lighting mode, which can mimic studio like shots via using that depth information captured by the portrait mode photographs. The front facing camera is now called the True Depth Camera, which comes equipped with a 7 megapixel sensor, which now can shoot portrait mode photos as well. An interesting little feature added to the front facing camera is that now you can animate the emojis by using your facial expressions, known as Animojis. One other big feature of this phone's camera is that it can shoot 4K at up to 60 FPS, which no other smartphone can provide you right now in the market. Moving on to the phone's back, which this time is made of glass to enable wireless charging, which Apple claims to be their most durable glass ever used in the construction of an iPhone. But it still leaves us with questions about the durability of the device. So I'm gonna ask you this, what do you guys think? Is wireless charging worth sacrificing that durable aluminum frame? And does the new glass back look better than last year's jet black iPhone 7? Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. So that's it guys. This was my comprehensive first look at the new iPhone X. Also, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button to see more awesome content and to check out the full review of the iPhone X when it starts shipping on November 3rd. Thank you everyone for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.